I wanted to make a short video about a PTO spreader. This is what goes on the back of your tractor, three point hitch, and a spread seed, fertilizer, whatever you have. For anybody that wants to rebuild the gearbox, I looked on YouTube and could not find a video on this, and uh, it took me about an hour to figure out how to get it apart. Figured I would help somebody else. What I did was this plate here that keeps the seeds from being thrown at the tractor. I had to cut it off. The bottom plate that holds the actual gearbox, I took it off, cut it off, and then I was able to get the gearbox out with the uh, the wheel that goes on top that actually slings the seed. And on mine, this part was inside the hopper. That's what um, has a little piece on it that agitates the fertilizer or whatever's in there to make sure it all comes out. So to get this off here. Put this bearing spreader underneath it between the gearbox and this wheel, heated it, had to actually heat this, put it in my little hydraulic press. I have a 20 ton press and with the bolt out that holds it together, press it off. That was a lot of work but it did come off and I did not damage it, which this rusted out, it don't matter. And then I actually got to the gearbox itself. This one already has new bearings on it. The bearings, old bearings are pretty shot. But this is an assembly. You got a bearing on the back, a bearing on the front. This is like a PVC spacer that just keeps the bearings separated. And then you got a snap ring. This whole thing will come out as an assembly. The way I got, I took this shaft out first. On my gearbox, mine has a oil fill plug on the back side. I used a piece of round stock that would fit in this oil fill hole, and it does fit. And I, I used a hammer which is actually on the back of this gear, and I drove it out after taking a snap ring out. The snap ring is what holds that whole assembly in there. So make sure you get the snap ring out. Then you can drive this whole PTO shaft out. Once you get that one out, you gotta get the vertical shaft out, which is one that actually goes into the hopper on this little wheel. One bearing of mine was totally shot, so I was lucky I had some upward play, and I just kept snatching and snatching by hand until I got that shaft out. And the bearings are so close together on this one, I messed up this PVC spacer. I had to cut it off with a cutting blade, but uh, I have access to a lathe, so I got me a big coupling from my John Deere dealer for an agricultural sprayer. I knew what my measurements were and I machined it down in my lathe and made one better than the one that come off. So I hope this helps somebody to get it out. All you gotta do is take this one snap ring out. Drive the shaft out from the back, and then if you can't pull yours out like I did, you'll have to find some way of putting a puller on this shaft with two holes. Once you get the upper snap ring out, you can yank that out the top. And putting it back together now that I know how should be fairly easy. And I went on 
on the internet, Agri Supply makes replacements of these wheels out of stainless steel. The one I found is $88. Okay, I just put this together. Um, I slid this one in first. I didn't have to press it in or nothing. I used my lined it up, put my hammer, tapped it in, put my snap ring in. Then I slid this one in. Put my snap ring in there to hold it in. Now all I gotta do is put my new seals. One here, one here. And fill it up with oil. And got a new working gearbox. The problem with this one was this inner bearing on the top was totally shot. The oil level only goes up this so I guess this bear ends up dry seals leaked there was no oil in this thing at all when I got it it's full of water and rust but this ain't uh, telling everybody this is better than buying a new spreader but a new spreader was six hundred dollars I've got thirty eight dollars in bearings and seals Biggest problem is getting this apart. I'm buying a new wheel, the hopper, and the well that dust or that a deflector back on. And sand and paint this thing and spreader should be as good as new. Alright, thanks for watching.